my name is Chuck Perry. I'm the chief pilot for Kenmore Air Seaplanes. I work out of Seattle. We're down here at Lake Union at our Seattle downtown terminal for the seaplane operation. We fly float planes in and out of Lake Union from Seattle up to the San Juan Islands and up to Victoria, British Columbia, scheduled service. Float flying is a tremendous amount of fun. It's, it's everything about boating and flying wrapped up in one. When you taxi out to take off, you're looking at all the conditions that are gonna affect your takeoff, and you have a lot of things going on. We have an organic runway that has boats and uh, animals, birds, seals, whatnot. Um, a chunk of driftwood can ruin your whole day. So we're constantly looking at what's going on, big situational awareness to see how we're gonna conduct the flight. You've got a life jacket behind your feet, and it's airline issue. It goes over your head, the strap around your body, clip it, and don't pull the ripcord till you're outside the plane, okay? People ask us, what altitude are we gonna fly at? I don't know yet. It depends on what the wind's doing. I'm always looking for the fastest ride. So it may be low on the deck or it may be high. Um, we make it up as we go. It's great. It's, it's, it's just constantly engaging. And so those of us that do this, we, we really enjoy that aspect of flying. As you taxi out, you look, you make sure that your line is clear, and you put the wood to it, and you're waiting for it to come up on step, and you're getting that first nose rise, and then you're waiting for another nose rise. And when you get to the second one, that's as high as it's gonna go, then you tip it over onto the step, and now it's time to just develop flying speed and get it to fly. I don't know what speed that is because I don't care. It'll fly when it flies, my technique generally is to pick up one float to cut the drag in half, and then off we go. Go do your business, you get to where you want to land, and it's the same thing. It's all about landing attitude for us, and we fly the airplane on, because simply our goal, taking off and landing, is the least drag possible when the floats touch the water or leave the water. Kenmore Air, being a small family-owned company using smaller aircraft, uh, we are many, many times the, the flying public's first exposure to a general aviation product. Uh, many, many times I'm loading people into an airplane and they're commenting, I have never been in an airplane this size before. Uh, many, many of the traveling public, the smallest airplane they've ever been in is a 737. So, we give them exposure to this is what it's like and almost every time when they get out at the other end they've had a blast and they they say why didn't i do this sooner uh, my name is john uh, i'm from minneapolis we're here in uh, seattle uh, looking uh, looking to see you know the, the seattle area and uh, what better way to see it from uh, the air Never really been on a small airplane, uh, just commuter, you know, big Boeings and Airbus, whatever. Uh, so something small seems like a lot of fun. Uh, I personally work around a lot of smaller aircraft and I never really get to go flying. I just, you know, do a lot of service and that's about it. So this is exciting. We consider ourselves at Kenmore Air to be in the business of selling people an experience or an excursion. We don't look at ourselves as strictly a transportation company. Um, we want you to have fun. We want our pilots to have fun. I got to sit uh, right seat, which is uh, pretty, really cool. I, it's a big experience uh, for me. Flying is definitely on my uh, bucket list. I, it may not happen this year, but it definitely will happen. People in Seattle and many people throughout the world know Kenmore Air as the largest seaplane airline in the United States. What a lot of them don't know is that we're actually a, 
a major FAA repair station for aircraft. And not only do we repair our own aircraft and maintain our own aircraft, we build aircraft and modify aircraft for customers basically around the world. We're at Kenmore Air Harbor in Kenmore, Washington. This is the main base for our seaplane airline. We have been based here since 1946. And we have five acres here at Kenmore and we perform all forms of maintenance. Um, we have an engine shop, we have an upholstery shop, a paint shop and the beaver shop. We do sheet metal work here. We also have an extensive parts department. Uh, we sell parts all over the world for various aircraft and we keep the fleet here as well as uh, moorage for private aircraft owners uh, in the back. This is Kenmore's engine shop. I'm standing here next to obviously a cart full of uh, reconditioned cylinders. We work on the piston engines, the uh, Pratt & Whitney R985 uh, here in the engine shop. Everything is torn down. We'll get an engine that's timed out. We'll tear it down. Uh, it goes back into a basically a big dishwasher for engines in many pieces and gets cooked and cleaned up and then everything gets reconditioned. Uh, we do everything here on site except the crankshafts do get sent down to Standard Aero and they get rebuilt and sent back to us. Um, absent that, everything is done within this shop. And I got to tell you, out of Kenmore, on our main base, this is one of my favorite places. This place is just cool. I mean, look at the workmanship on this equipment. It's awesome. This is an industrial strength dishwasher, for lack of a better way to put it. It is the coolest thing. We uh, keep it hot, and when we bring an engine in that needs to be torn down, it gets taken apart to its component parts and put into this basket. We close it up and it uses detergent, agitates it and uh, under high pressure spray and uh, cleans all the gunk off of it. It's actually pretty cool. Kenmore Air owns Edo floats. We manufacture the floats. We carry an extensive part supply here at Kenmore and we also rebuild and maintain all the floats. This is a set of 7490 straight floats by Edo and these floats will be mounted on one of our company turbine otters. Now you're seeing the inner workings of our upholstery shop. This is Clarence. He does fabulous work. If you've ever had the pleasure of riding in a Kenmore aircraft, everybody comments on the interior, how nice they are and how well appointed they are. And he's working on a new fresh air system for one of our otters and uh, gas vents for all the passengers and it's, it's a brand new design and we're having a lot of luck with it, it's great. If you're ever in Seattle and you have an opportunity to stop at Kenmore Air, I would encourage you to stop at either of our terminals, our downtown terminal or our main base up at Kenmore at the north end of Lake Washington. Um, if you have any kind of mechanical aptitude and, and you like the building of airplanes, um, I would encourage you to go to our main base uh, where we build airplanes and we have an engine shop and a paint shop and an upholstery shop. It's, it's a pretty cool place to go hang out. Um, if you do have occasion to fly with us and you're a pilot, identify yourself to your pilot or even perhaps to the check-in staff and let them know it's your pilot and that you're interested in flying in the right seat. And we'll do what we can to make sure that we get you up front and you can kind of see how life is as a seaplane pilot in the Pacific Northwest.